What do you do when the people that you love want to see you fail? I have to change in order to fulfill my dreams and become who I want to become in the future. Just not something that I think needs to be done. <laughs> what do you do when you're trying to change your life, but your family, your friends, they don't support you? I don't know what to do. I'm lost. She wishes that um, I wasn't even here in the first place. And even worse, they sabotage you. Tara's got an uphill battle because at home, she's not getting that support. I don't want to lose this kid. Well, that is exactly the situation that Tara Wilson dealt with in the 2013 MTV classic, I Used to Be Fat. She wants to lose 100 pounds, avoid turning into her mom, and succeed with or without the help of her family. I made a video on this show like two years ago, and I figured it was time for another one, which is where I found Tara's story. In this episode, we meet Tara, a sweet high school senior who wants to lose weight to get back into dance and make the most of her college experience. But if she's going to succeed, she'll need to figure out a way to deal with her unsupportive mom, who may even be sabotaging her progress on purpose. So if you're not familiar with the show, here's how it works. In each episode, MTV sends a personal trainer to help teens struggling with their weight during the summer between high school and college to help them lose weight and live their dreams of starting this new chapter of their lives fresh. It's basically like The Biggest Loser, but for teens. What could go wrong with that concept? And as you'll see, this show has at least one very major flaw. That girl has to lose one pound a day. It has to be done this way. There's no way around it. But first, a message from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Opera. The Opera browser is a fast and distraction-free internet browser packed full of useful features. Opera's actually been around since 1995 and they've continued to innovate. With a completely redesigned look and feel, Opera delivers one of the smoothest browsing experiences to date. There are a ton of features built in for everything you do online. I really like the way that Opera has integrated popular messengers like WhatsApp, Telegram, and Instagram to be accessible right there in the sidebar. It's cool to be able to click into your chats without losing your current tab. One of my favorite features is workspaces. Workspaces make it super easy to switch between different sessions, so you can quickly switch from one project to another or from work mode to chill mode. Or if there's someone looking over your shoulder and you quickly need to swap. On top of that, Opera also has this intuitive tab navigation they call Tab Islands. Maybe you can relate, when I'm researching, I often have 10, 15, 20 tabs open and it eventually looks like this. With Tab Islands, you can quickly collapse and expand different groups as you need them, giving you more space and a more focused browsing experience. And most importantly, allowing you to hoard all those tabs that you will definitely check later. Aria, Opera's native browser AI, is a web-connected generative AI service that is easily accessible in the sidebar. I find AI is a great way to bounce ideas around while I'm researching and it's just one click away in Opera. Oh yeah, and did I mention that Opera comes with a free VPN ad blocker and more? Basically, everything you might need in your browser, Opera has got you covered. Use my link below to download Opera today. Thank you to Opera for sponsoring today's video. Anyway, back to Tara. Tara's ready to change, okay? She's willing to change. She's determined to achieve her goals. There's only one problem. Her mom. From the very first moment that we meet Tara's mom, Janie, let's just say there are some clues that she might be an issue during Tara's weight loss journey. We don't want dinner for lunch just yet. We're gonna eat ice cream first. Oh, Tara, that can be yours, a big old scoop. And maybe, just maybe, the mom is even implicated in Tara becoming so overweight in the first place. I eat like this because my mom does. I'm so close to my mom, like whenever she eats, I eat, and the same thing with my sister, we're really close to our mom. So MTV sends a personal trainer to Tara's home to help her lose as much weight as possible in just one summer. I can really help her to get on that straight and narrow before she goes off to college. And when Tara's new trainer, Jimmy, arrives and meets Tara and her family for the first time. You know, it's a lifestyle change that we're looking to do. All goes well until Jimmy mentions casually to Tara's family that Tara is going to need their support this summer to succeed at making such a drastic lifestyle change and sticking to her goals. It's going to be a matter of you guys being on board with it as well. To that, her dad doesn't seem to have any objections. Mm. But Tara's mom is pretty opinionated about the whole process and makes it known that this whole thing is a little bit inconvenient for her right now. What's stopping you from being ready? I don't know how it's going to affect me. Call me old fashioned, but sometimes people just, you know, do things for other people or whatever. It's funny because you know that there are moms that will literally like sacrifice themselves for their children. But then this mom's like, It would be easier for me, I think, to cut off my finger than to diet and lose weight and keep it off. Mm -hmm. Mom. She's, I, I'm she's serious. serious. 
So as we'll soon learn, Tara's mom, Jamie, tried for most of her life to lose weight, but gave up on it years ago and has decided that she's never going to try again. So when the MTV crew shows up to her house, not only is she a little resistant to the idea, but she's a little angry about the whole thing. And she's not afraid to let everyone know it. And this is just generally the mom's overall vibe. I'm going to get three Japanese symbols tattooed on my back. To remind me of what I've been through. I mean, uh, which has to be incredibly difficult for Tara. She's a very sweet, soft spoken girl who's been bullied most of her life due to her weight. One thing they always turned back to was brown cow because I'm biracial and I'm bigger. And she just wants to feel better and make a change. I want to love dance again the way I did when I was thinner. And oh yeah, on top of that, Tara's issues with food stem directly from her mother's issues with food. I have always used food for emotional reasons. And I have passed that on to two other people. So Janie acknowledges that her daughter's issues with overeating are closely intertwined with her own. And you'd think this acknowledgement might prompt her to consider taking some responsibility or at least be like helpful or considerate or anything like that to Tara during this few months that you're all being filmed for MTV. But no, she absolutely does not do any of that. We've got a lot of cheeses in here. Trainer Jamie starts looking through the family's fridge and cupboards and asks them to throw out all their junk food to help Tara stay on track. There's, that's the good stuff. Come on. <laughs> Cakes, <laughs> cookies, nut bars, and sweet buns. This is the good stuff. Yes. Define good for me. I like the taste. Yeah. So first the mom's just making these like innocent but difficult jokes. But then she asks the dad if Jimmy going through their cupboards is bothering him. Is this bothering you, Wilson? No. Oh no, it's not bothering me. Not you. Bothering him? Like, what are you trying to do here? Then the family doesn't end up actually throwing out the junk food. They just put it in a bag in the garage. Which like, okay, I get it. You just bought all that food. You don't want to throw it out. It's not your weight loss journey. Like, Fine. But like you could literally hide it in your bedroom or something like you've got options here if you wanted to be just like a little bit considerate without changing your lifestyle at all. But it's a pretty early indicator that they don't have the slightest intentions of being supportive. When their daughter got this like once in a lifetime opportunity to change her life on MTV, like this is probably a dream for her. Like I remember watching the show when I was around her age and it was a dream for me. And if you were a fat kid or a fat teenager, you may have had the same like fantasy of going away one summer and then coming back to like completely transparent transform for the new school year. I feel like that has to be a recurring fantasy and is probably why this show exists exactly the way that it does because I think this is a common thing. It's just insane to me for the mother to acknowledge that she is the problem. I have always used food for emotional reasons and I have passed that on to two other people. And then be this resistant to even faking it, faking that she gives a shit for the sake of her kid. But unfortunately, people are like this and maybe some of you have experienced people like this in your own life or on your own journeys. If you ever succeed at or even try to change something major about your life, you might have to deal with people like this. People that you love who suddenly start making mean comments or backhanded compliments or icing you out or even full on sabotaging you. Although I don't really get the vibe that this is unique or sudden behavior from Janie. But the thing is, this type of behavior is just so common. It's so hard to deal with too, because you're expecting these people to be your support system, to cheer you on, to be there for you. But unfortunately, that is not always the way it goes down. Before the trainer leaves, he tries one last time to get the mom on board by amping her up and saying, mom, you're the role model, you're the leader. You are such a role model and a leader and an example setter for them. For you everyone here, <laughs> for the whole family, I'm it. Uh, did you miss the memo lady? Yeah, you're the leader. You've been the leader for 18 years. You're the mom. Now it's clear that Janie has her own complicated emotions around food and her body due to her history. I have to try to change with her. And that is not something I have been able to do. And it probably feels like a huge ass to get her to try on something that she's already given up on, which is like fair. She didn't sign up for the show herself. So the first time that I watched this episode, I reserved my judgment toward the mom during these first few scenes. I figured she was like hamming it up or maybe they asked her to be like this. Like why would anyone intentionally make themselves look terrible on TV? I feel like most people are smart enough to make themselves look like half decent in these type of scenarios. There's a couple clips of Tara where can, you can really tell that she's like, hamming it up or like she's recording something just for the camera. So I figured, okay, maybe that's what the mom's doing. 
But as we'll see, that is not exactly what's happening here. <laughs> With or without the support of her mom, it's time for Tara's journey to begin. You've got a good work ethic, obviously, or else she wouldn't have accomplished all of those amazing feats. Well, that tells me how disciplined you are and how disciplined you can be. So she steps on the scale for her first weigh-in and sets her weight loss goal for the summer. 236.6, that's our start. We need to set a goal here. Okay. What are you thinking? 140. 40. It's a little over a pound a day. It's a tall order. Mm, yeah. You can do it though. Okay, so here we go. The problems begin. Yeah, you can technically lose a pound a day if your name is David Goggins, but should you? And to make a long story short, I had to lose 106 pounds in less than three months. That's where it became challenging for me. There are very, very, very few situations where that is an appropriate weight loss goal and most of them involve doctor now. Like Tara's a teenager who what, chose a weight loss goal out of the top of her head over like what's her ideal body weights. And her personal trainer who is a fitness professional is like, yeah, that sounds amazing. We're just gonna go with that. To be fair though, I'm pretty sure that's like the trope of the show. So if he wanted to be the trainer on the show, then he would have had to agree with that. Tara has set a very lofty goal to lose 100 pounds. I'm going to push her as hard as I can to see her reach that goal. This is why I've said this show is problematic. Like Tara's goal is to lose 100 pounds in 90 days. So over one pound every single day. That's just so extreme and so unhealthy and just sets her up for failure. This show would be so sweet and motivational if it wasn't for the fact that in every single episode, they try and make these teams lose an insane amount of weight in a very, very short period of time. And the show is only 10 years old. It really is crazy how much fitness information has progressed in such a short period of time. The show is actually produced by JD Roth, the same guy who produced The Biggest Loser, and it suffers from many of the same flaws. One of the biggest being that it's a weight loss show that never talks about what the diet is or what these kids are eating or the meal plan that they've been put on. And there are very few clips of them like preparing food or dealing with food. Like it's a very, it's not a big element of the show whatsoever. And all the clips are essentially just the teens working out for hours and hours and hours every single day, making it seem like to the public, I know that this is what I thought when I was younger, that weight loss equals mostly excessive exercise. That girl has to lose one pound a day. It's a tall order, it's not impossible. The trick is we just need to keep burning calories. Remember what you need to show, 3,500 calories a day deficit to make this thing happen. It has to be done this way. There's no way around it. There's no other way to do this. Yeah, except for every other way that isn't this way. Like this was so normal on TV shows of this era and I really feel like it did a number to our collective consciousness because everyone at home was learning that weight loss equals insane exercise and salads that look like this. Anyway, as Tara's journey begins, she has a little success right out of the gate. That's really good. I'm excited. Yay, I can't wait till the next weigh in so I'll have more weight off. I weigh 232. All right. Aren't you proud of me? I am. But week after week, Jimmy notices that for some reason, Tara is consistently unable to meet her goals. I feel like quitting just because I'm not losing it the way I want to be losing it. And I think it would be easier for me to just quit. And after about six weeks of diet and an intense exercise regime, Tara's lost only about 10 pounds in total. Now, losing 10 pounds in six weeks is great normally. And it's a heck of a lot healthier than losing what would have been 42 pounds if she had lost a pound every single day. But Tara's supposedly on a strict diet and working out five hours every single day with the personal trainer. So with that amount of exercise, she's got to be pretty off track to only be putting up less than a pound a week. She's not on goal. I don't know what's going on, but there's something emotionally holding her back and it needs to be addressed for her, I think, to start to see those pounds come off. I know that Tara's home environment is adding to this challenge. Wow, I wonder what could be possibly going on in Tara's home environment to be holding her back. It's getting really, really, really tough because even though the food was taken out, it would now been brought back in and there's so many things in my cupboards and they're tempting me to eat them. You know, if you want me to talk to him about that, I'll do that. So Jimmy decides to pay her parents a visit to get more information about what could be going on at home and finds them cooking a meal outside. Hey guys, what's happening? The cook, who's throwing all that but melted butter on the shrimp. 
On your shrimp too, Tara? Yeah. <laughs> Lady, you're aware that you're on TV, right? You might want to dial back the evil stepmom vibes just a shred. And it's at this point that we learn that not only has Janie been unsupportive to Tara in the last few weeks, but seems to have been going out of her way to make the process more difficult. Look at this, my sister eating chips while I'm supposed to be on this diet. Mm, and they are so good. For example, Tara's mom and dad throw a party for Tara to celebrate her graduating high school. The whole day is all about you. But then they decide that they're gonna make all of Tara's favorite foods and have two different cakes and that Tara needs to decide how she's going to handle the situation. The decision you have to make is which all about you do you want it to be about? My mom asked me like, do you want this day to be about the old you or the new you? A little taste here, a little taste there and then, you know, run it off the next day. Exactly. So Tara ends up sticking to her plans and eating a little meal prep salad that it looks like she made herself in advance. But like you guys couldn't have just thrown a piece of chicken on the grill for the girl that wanted to stick to her own goals at her own party. Like this was a party for her. The whole day is all about you. If it was anyone else's party, then fine. But it was a party for her. But unfortunately, this is life, right? Sometimes the people that you expect to be in your corner cheering you on are the ones making your life as difficult as possible possibly intentionally. And it sucks and it hurts and it can make you question your ability to change or what you're doing or why you're even trying in the first place. But the fact of the matter is the sooner we all realize we cannot change other people and we can only change ourselves, we'll all be 10 times better off. Because in reality, that's where your power is. That's really all you've got. Once you start taking responsibility for every single situation in your life, whether or not it's fair or your fault, you're more empowered to do whatever you need to do to succeed. Because quite literally, the only thing you can do in a situation if you're really determined to achieve whatever it is you're trying to achieve is dig your heels in the ground and use their actions to inspire your determination. I don't think this situation happens like all the time, but it happens enough. I checked on Reddit. When you try and make any sort of behavioral change that results in a drastic difference in your lifestyle, for whatever reason, there may be people that are threatened by this, even to the point of full on sabotage. In Tara's case, it seems like her family is tempting her to make bad choices and then throwing it back in her face. Like, let's go back to the moment where the trainer tried to visit the family to inquire why Tara might be struggling with her weight loss goals. He asked the family what their thoughts are about Tara struggling to stay on track. And this is what the mom had to say. My thoughts are not good. I changed my whole house, my whole life. I don't have a car for five hours a day. Yeah. And I'm sitting here watching a child that is doing next door to nothing with her weight loss. And I can't wait for the summer to be over. The audacity to put down her daughter for not losing weight while cackling about caking butter on her shrimp. The cook who's throwing all that but melted butter on the shrimp. <laughs> This is the moment that I knew that the mom's attitude wasn't faked or even exaggerated. The uncomfortable look on Tara's face, the vindictive look on the mom's face, and everyone else standing around feeling uncomfortable AF all make it quite clear that nope, that's exactly how she actually is. Is it possible that Janie is sabotaging her daughter from succeeding at something that she's personally failed at? I think high school for Tara was basically like high school was for me. Everyone said I was fat. I didn't have very many friends. I didn't do very much, very many things. It's extremely possible. The fact of the matter is weight and food is an extremely touchy subject for a lot of people. And even though we're talking about a mother and a daughter, Janie may genuinely want Tara to fail in order to feel better about herself and her own inability to change. And I know that sounds like overtly evil and very intentionally cruel when people act like this. And this might be a hot take, but I do think that this type of mean sabotage behavior is at least partly subconscious behavior and that doesn't excuse it at all but it can be really helpful if you're going through it to understand that this type of unsupportive person is behaving this way because of who they are and not because of who you are and this type of behavior actually reflects their capacity to deal with their own negative feelings and doesn't actually have much to do with you she's just like really frustrated with this whole process and she wishes that um i wasn't even here in the first place a few weeks go by and Tara is still struggling to lose much weight. So Jimmy decides to cut her mom out of the picture and try to ask her dad and sister for their support. I need you as part of my team 
to help support Tara in this effort. Without it, Tara is not gonna go to school with the tools that she needs to be able to carry on a healthy lifestyle into college. Jerry, send her off right, man. You've poured 18 years into this kid, man. Yes, Finances, love. You can turn this around right now. Okay. Now, see, in this instance, even though it seemed futile going into it, a little bit of communication is really all it took to get the other two family members on Tara's team. But obviously, Jimmy knew better than to include the mom, who clearly wasn't ready to have a discussion. Without the mom in the picture, the dad and sister agree to help Tara out with her journey. I'm glad you came out today. Yay. It's gonna be fun. Me too. I was thinking maybe burgers on the grill, turkey burgers. What are we having with it? Um, I don't know. I think... Maybe we'll have a salad. And from what it looks like and what Tara has to say, the dad really steps up and it results in them like bonding together and it actually helps Tara move forward faster with her goals. My mom isn't ready to change her whole lifestyle. There's still unhealthy food here, but it's making me stronger every day just to say no to that stuff. With her dad's support on her side, Tara starts to have more success. She's feeling really good about how everything is going, so she gets a tattoo to symbolize perseverance. And I'm telling you this because I have to show you the mom's reaction to her getting the tattoo. Okay, first off, her vibe walking into the kitchen. What is this? Oh, this is pretty color. Sucks. I mean, uh... Mom! <laughs> like, what the f So you don't like it. So, no. This has been a lovely little time, but I gotta make my way out of here. Jimmy's phase two. And as the summer comes to an end, it's time for Tara's final weigh-in. All right, ladies, moment of truth. 206.8 pounds. That's 30 pounds. So in 90 days, Tara lost 30 pounds, or about 10 pounds a month. Now that's a perfectly healthy rate of weight loss, but unfortunately for her, she did work out five hours a day to achieve that, but it really shows you how unsupportive her home environment must have been. Regardless, Tara's very proud of herself. And the first thing she says is, this is so exciting. I just want to lose more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I can do it. Yeah, if you, you're gonna, that's what you're gonna do. It's literally painful to watch this go down. I'm going to. It's gonna be hard, but whatever. <laughs> uh -huh. Tara, Tara, just... Thank God Tara at least had Jimmy, who despite his flaws... 3,500 calories a day deficit. It has to be done this way. There's no way around it. Was extremely supportive for Tara, really stood up for her, and clearly had a major impact on her change. I know you feel alone in the journey, but I know you can do this. Whether anybody decides to stand with you, you're a strong enough woman to reach your goals. Oh, well, this is it, Tara. <laughs> you helped me through everything. This is like my dream. And I'm like really grateful that you came into my life when you did. Take care of yourself, okay? Okay. So Tara heads off to college excited to try and lose more weight. I thought everything was going to be like really difficult, like being away from my mom and stuff. But um, I got here and like I made a lot of friends and it made it a lot easier. Away from home and her mom, Tara goes on to lose another 20 pounds in her first few months of college. It's not really a diet anymore. It's like a lifestyle. I know I'm going to continue this in my life. It's something that's programmed in my brain now. Like, I can't even overeat. I mean, I gained 30 pounds in my first few months of university. So I think that the fact that she lost anyway really speaks a lot to her mindset and determination. Two months later, Tara returns home for a party to show off her progress to her friends and family. It's like officially just letting everyone know, like, this weight loss is not going anywhere. You look amazing. Thanks. Surprisingly, the mom does end up having a redeeming moment or at least shows that she somewhat cares about her daughter. Do you realize how proud I am of you? And how strong I think you are? And you really are beautiful. Thanks, Mom. What are you doing? And I really am proud of you. Thanks. Hello. I still stand by my comments though. Obviously reality TV can and does edit things to make them way worse than they normally really are, but only to a certain degree. And there weren't very many cuts at key moments that kind of showed her true colors, I think. Which reminds me of this one last thing I have to show you guys. The, the Look at the clip that they chose to end the show with. Here's the dad bowling, clearly about to hit the gutter. And it's a perfect touchdown. And if you haven't seen my first video on this TV show about Marcy. She says she can't breathe. That she wouldn't be able to talk if she couldn't breathe. The trader actually threatened to send me a cease and desist. <laughs> 
so you should definitely check that out. And if you're in the mood for something a little bit more serious, my last video on self-discipline is actually a life changer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Time's a-wasting, let's go. Let's get out of here.